Alright guys, we're back. So, for this, you do want to create a microcosm. I tell people that's where they go wrong because they only create a microcosm without creating a larger world so the dog just wants to get away. But, you know, if, if you don't have one that's willing to stay with the seated handler and just keeps wandering away and stuff, you've got to go back and work on that part first. That's why it doesn't work. Hi Mike. Yeah, tell on Facebook. They're not getting me. I don't know why I didn't remember that old account. For some reason I thought they would figure it out. AOL, AIM, kind of the same thing. Anyway, I need you to appear quickly. That's the dog, you know, maybe that's what we should, maybe that would be a good thing to write it. From the dog's internal dialogue perspective. I, I went to the platform and as if by magic, the human appeared. I saw from that day on if I could just do things better and better and better. So I think maybe that's where you have to start. And if you said that's where most people start, no, they don't. It seems like to me they start going, sit. I'm going to do a uh, copy of that thing about the prong collar, too. Um, here, what, here's an idea. What if I just photograph it and send it to you, and then you can write it out? And of course, we'll credit Dr. Tortora, but let's start spreading it all over the internet. Here's what's wrong with your perfect tool. Yay! So he got animated and jumped around. All right, and I am going to start using the pager. This is just the IQ. And the battery's probably going to die soon, but... Uh, just sit right on the edge so I don't get wet. And I do, uh, the only thing I don't like about a collar going over the head is they will start doing the shake off. Why wouldn't they? It's just a reflex, you know. If you said it, that's how their sensors reset themselves. You know, I'd say that seems about right. You know, there's that way you shake it and it, you know. Anyway, so he's definitely looking at me. I'm just looking at the very small subtask of look where I look. And I'm purposely not looking at him. Yay! And then very fast deliver to hand. And then back in the basket. All right, and then I got the keys. And they, those, I think, I think, I do think the noise is good with the keys. It's very easy for them. Every dog in America, they jingle the keys. All right, so I'm just using those two things. They're easy to pick up. I can try this thing. Anything that's kind of... And he's got a little bit of the overreact to the other dog thing. So I am. I'm trying to get just a little bit of a drill going. Right, that was my fault, but he'll pick it up again. When he looks up... Hey. So I, even though he didn't move towards me, I moved him towards me after the fact. We got a lot of accessory after the fact going on. All right, so my job is to put it over here and go over this way. Yeah. And it's a very small world within... If, and I guess this is where people go wrong, Mike. It's a very, it's a very small world within arm's length of the handler. So if you've done anything to damage that and the dog is not willing to come close to you, then that's why it's not working. You know what I mean? That's why it's not working. All right, so you make it start to make a loop. And you're looking for animation. I'm, I'm honestly to the point now, I don't know why I didn't realize that before last Tuesday, but you should just reward organic animation. I'm sure I've done that.
Continue to move them towards the handler. Continue to move. If it's if it's half an arm's length away, move it all the way to the handler. That needs to be your precedent. All the way to the handler. Alright, get my treats ready. I'm gonna have to take this hoodie off because I just had to dump the treats in here. And I did get something different. And you may want to try it just once in a while, because I haven't used it in a long time, but I just got this cheap bologna. Only because it's kind of like the fresh pack. And let me tell you what, shoe bottom was all over it. Yay! Yeah, that's real close to starting to be a drill there. Yay! I'm going to reward him just for getting it out of there. My hands get greasy from the bologna. He said, what's the downside of the bologna? Greasy hands. Right, I like the keys the best though, because it's, you're getting a real fast sequence. That's how fast it's got to be in the beginning though. That's why I had to dump the treats into the pocket. I don't know how to operate a plastic bag, but I think that's what we have to think of, Mike. The dog is operating within arm's length of the handler. If you've got a dog that's hesitant, to, that's something you've... Yay! That's something you've done. So anyway, that's big improvement since yesterday. Yay. Continue to move the dog next to the handler. Right next to the handler. The dog should be touching the handler. That's how you're going to get it to travel. Yay. And if you said, well, what do you mean? It's going to change the sequence. Yeah, it may decide just to come to the handler. Just to bypass the stop thing and just go right to the handler. Yay. I'm going to let him get in there if he wants to get in there. Yay. drill. He made his own drill. <laughs> no, no, he's getting the whole basket. I remember now when he was a puppy, he did get the basket. And I kind of stood it up so he can... All right, there's one more thing. The spin oh, you precious angel. Oh, am adorable. So he made up his own drill. And I really wasn't planning on using all of those objects. But it worked out that I had them. Because you can see how cute was that. And that was just, he did it on his own. If I would have started trying to put rules there... It would have fallen apart, you know that. All right, let me just do a little bit of the, he's super animated though, super, super animated. And I think just any animation, even if you just verbally or laughed or whatever. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, so we have a new thing, it's called Walk With The Wheels. He said, what's that? It's pretty self-explanatory. Just because, this is what I want you to think of, Mike. Oh, you've got your British mum and her child in the pram. All right, first off, lady, we call it a stroller, and uh, get over yourself. <laughs> but that's, you know, there's just going to be a lot of wheels in a dog's life. Am I wrong? I wish I had video of my, that old shepherd of mine, Smokey. A stupid, scary Jerry, the crazy lawn guy. Seems I have all the dogs loose, but this jerk wad decides it's time to cut the grass, not give me a chance to put them up anything. So Smokey's running along. Yeah, attacking the wheels. And of course I'm screaming, but it's not working. Because he can't hear me, 
Because the lawnmower is so loud. So I do think we need to, maybe that needs to be. There should be some kind of wheel, only just because kids on bikes and not the wheel drill, but just adding it somehow as a normal course of events. I understand now things are what people, perception is reality. And you know, again, if people believe all dogs are afraid of fireworks, that's how they act. And they need to see the slightest bit of discomfort. Oh my God, yes, look. Because if you said, what should you do? And it starts storming, get up and say, come on, let's go. Let's go to the pond. Oh, what are you insane, lady? Anyway, so I can work on my travel just a little bit. times do they have to see that? Ah! Not very many. And I think I need you to look up uh, a video on power walking because that's kind of what I equate it to. The dog sees that as it's speeding up, it's tensing up, it may jettison forward real fast. I think that that's what that implies. And the hands... You're trying to propel yourself, you know, for the next. He's completely disappeared. Oh, he's over there going to the bathroom. I can just be the seated hand. So with this dog, I want the dog, this, the dog to be on the platform next to the seated handler. And what I need to do is get a default down there. But I'm probably not gonna get it today because he's just so perky. Yay. In the beginning, I think you wanna... so I can do one more little drill with the basket, but I'll reduce the items, the number of items, because my intention was not to get him and to get everything out of that basket, but he started, yay, yay. I think what you need to say to yourself when they're on the platform, anything, I don't care what they do, anything. You know, think about it when you're a little kid and you go somewhere and there's a stage and you get up there and do anything your parents like it anything i don't care what kind of lame dance moves you do your parents like it that's how parents are all right so let me see if i can just do it with three things i'm gonna do the three easiest things maybe which is the shoe the shoe the leg oh. and yay uh-oh he might go get that spoon in a minute all right so just gonna repeat the exact drill we just did he was up here though. Yay. This total microcosm. Yay. And he's gonna be able to get that pretty easy because the corner's up. Yeah, maybe that's where you should start the looking thing. He's looking right in the basket. Rocky, he's absolutely awful. <laughs> he is trying to get the basket too. So I'll probably factor that in soon. Yeah, if there's crumbs, just put them on the. No, he's a cutie patootie though.
There's my chance though. If he starts looking that way at that dog. Anyway, yeah, that he made up his own drill. And maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I'm putting it too far away too fast, Mike. Maybe we should start out just staring in the basket. Oh, that seems tedious though. I like throwing stuff around. <laughs> anyway, this was a good one too though, don't you think? And don't worry, I took the batteries out. I just, because I said, if anything, that'll make it easier to pick up. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I got two more poppies to do, so stay tuned. Oh, Skylar's right there getting a treat. I'm trying to get some pictures of this one. 